Okay. So you have one coin, you can buy one coupon. With the coupon, you can register for a day. And then during that day that you register for, you'll have time during these three hours of the day to be able to participate. So Pacific time, it's going to be 8 to 9 p.m., 1.30 to 2.30 a.m. on the day after the day you register for. <laughs> um, and... 3 to 4 p.m. on the day after the day you register for. So be very careful if you're registering for Pacific time. For Europe, it's going to be from 5 to 6 a.m., of course. And then 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., also way too early. And then 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. How do the times keep getting worse? Or if you're in Australia, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., and 8 to 9 a.m. So if you're in Europe, either between 5 and 6 a.m. when you're still sleeping, or between 10.30 and 11.30 when literally everyone is busy who has a life, or from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. when you should already be sleeping again for the next day. I... I don't know why it just is never good times. Just make one time slot really good for Pacific, one time slot really good for Europe, and one time slot really good for uh, for Australia, and then the other ones fucking fucky for everyone. Okay, it can't be that hard. Maybe it is that hard though. Maybe if we tried to math it out, because of Australia, Australia now has like two acceptable ones. They've got like eight to nine a.m., which is like before you go into work or something, or like when you wake up. If you actually have a life, you can do it a little bit before work. Or 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. You know, you give your dinner at 6, and then you can do it right after dinner. is fine. 1 to 2 p.m., you could even do it during your lunch break. They have, like, three acceptable times almost. The PT time zones are pretty bad. And then the Europe time zones are horrible. <laughs> but okay. Uh, for July 6th window, 1,800 tickets will be available initially, with an additional 900 available tickets restocking each day. Yeah. For July 7th to 10th windows, 1,200 tickets will be available initially with an additional 600 available restocking each day for a total of 6,000 each day. You can purchase and use only one ticket per world. Yep. Can that be exchanged or refunded? Players cannot enter the lobby in a map between 5 before or 5 after reset. Sure. Um... Oh yeah, double yeah, double tier up chances with red and black, and then small chance of double ranking. But no mention of of uh, cube sales at all. Okay. But yeah, just definitely, 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 definitely look at the time zones. Look at when you would be able to participate between uh, J June thirtieth and July fifth, or you know, up until July sixth if you're in. Um, in EU and Australia time zones. Why not make it the entire day? I don't I don't know why. I guess not enough FOMO if they do it that way, I guess. It's probably too easy to code and not enough FOMO, so they have to do it this way. But yeah, so that's that's announced now. Uh, very new, hot off the presses. So make sure you check your calendar, check your schedule. Uh, and remember, don't go too fucking hard because we do also have our very good chance for Shining Star Force in the summer update a little later. So don't spend like hundreds of billions, but, you know, probably spend some because you should be sitting on some money. So um, Beast Tamer, Beast Tamer was confirmed in an update to the Destiny patch notes that it would be part for creation of the second part of the update. Zero was not mentioned there, though, but I've got a hopeful feeling that Zero and Beast Tamer will be coming out together for the second part, but... Zero, not officially confirmed yet. Okay, so register, check out the um, the memes, and uh, well, not yet, but make sure you check first when you can, and then register. Okay, okay, good.